How's it going guys, Jace here back with another standard deck tech. Today I am back with my Jeskai control list. Um, did pretty well last time and I'm running it back, seeing how well it does. I mean there's been a lot of like blue eye control from the Pro Tour that did pretty well. Um, I am splashing red for four copies of Lightning Helix just because Lightning Helix is really really good against all the aggro matchups that you can play against. And the three damage is key, right? You know, you've got your know, creatures like Glissa, which you kind of want to deal with. Uh, you know, stuff like maybe like Graveyard Trespassers. The only thing it doesn't kill is Preacher. Now, Preacher is just... All toughness is kind of rough. But doing 3 damage to something and gaining 3 life is super relevant. Especially also against like the Convoke decks as well, so it's quite cool. And also splashing red for High Noon. I'm playing one in the main. Uh, and I do have another copy in the sideboard. Uh, this is pretty good, right? Each player can only cast one spell per turn. You imagine you play Convoke, where they just want to just absolutely explode onto the table. You're on the play on turn 2, you're like High Noon, right? You can basically play like one one mana creature a turn and if you're playing against just like a slow grindy matchup like you can only cast one spell per turn i don't care casting one spell per turn my opponent might the best thing to do against a controller because you overload them in a turn with spells they have to decide which one they want to counter well pine Noon's like well you can do one thing and then you can just sacrifice it to shoot something for five maybe a planeswalker shieldred or whatever very very good so the rest of the deck we go through it we got one copy of final showdown i still haven't haven't played this card yet but it's in the deck so hopefully uh, it comes up today um three steps ahead really powerful uh, we've played it before it is just insane if you haven't played this card before guys this is very very good uh two march with the otherworldly light great cheap removal spell three get lost a nice little catch-all to be able to deal with pretty much anything uh like we talked about high noon we've got two a deduce uh draw some cards pretty good uh four no more lies level playing control deck kind of makes sense right Four copies of Lion Helix, one temporary lockdown, just one in the main, well, one in the board. Uh, four Wandering Emperor, pretty much the win condition. Four Memory Deluge, incredible card advantage in the grindy games. Then we've got three Sunfall, uh, no farewells, but just three straight Sunfalls. And then we got one copy of Ezrim. I like this guy as a finisher. Uh, you don't necessarily need it. I mean, you could just win off the back of Wandering Emperor and your lands, you know, your creature lands. But hey, look, we're giving them a go. I do like him. So in the sideboards, uh, like I said, we've got another copy of High Noon. Um, then we have three Resting Peace. Hey, look, you know, you play against the, the team of land list and stuff like that. Super strong. Negate. Hey, look, against Control decks and, you know, Combo decks and Domain and stuff like that. It's very good against them. Knockout Blow, if you're against Creature decks, just great, right? Killing them and gaining some life is fantastic. Two more copies of Temporary Lockdown. So you've got the full three. Invoke is a pain. So getting this down early is needed to be fair two chrome host seed shark so the sea shark we've got two copies of these gray and the grindy matchups good against the mirror and then three tasha's tie binder kind of the same thing right really good against like the big splashy decks um which is actually pretty good so if you do want to give this deck a try guys the deck list will be in the description below we're gonna be playing a best of three standard game let's see how we go on okay uh okay right so just start the game so turn one i played I played the uh, Surveil Land, dumped the Murex in the graveyard, and uh, playing against an aggro deck. That's pretty much all that's happened so far. Pretty much happened so far. Classic me. Forgot to press record. So, but yes, my opening hand was pretty much exactly what it is. I just drew uh, the Wandering Emperor. Oh, okay. Well, I don't need three of them. Uh, we go land and pass. Uh, I do have Lightning Helix up, which is always good i could always counter something if need be but triple uh wandering emperor could be pretty good here could be pretty good my opponent's not exactly pressuring me either yep in the turn let's see my opponent's called all day green and they're not playing a green deck i'm really disappointed i'm disappointed okay you got slam a shieldred uh, yeah, you can't have that. That's, that's, uh, that card's a pain. Yep. Attack me for two. I'll play a land. We'll go from there, I think. Opponents debating what they want to do. Yep. Pretty good. Uh, high noon? Yeah, that's not great. Good pass. Not great in this matchup. Yep, 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 yep. Sure. Yep. 
Okay, uh, we'll just play this. We've got three of them. Um, make a 2 2. Probably I'll get killed, but like I go for the throat or cut down or something. Probably be my guess. Nope, they're gonna draw. Okay. Pretty good for me here. Yep, I'm just gonna make another token. Come full. Good layer on. Land. Make a guy. Play a high noon. Um. Won't attack. Because they can double block and I can only kill one. Oh, high noon's actually gonna be pretty good here, to be honest. Uh. Sure. Oh, got lightning helix, which is pretty good. But uh, it is going to go to four. Yep. And this is the thing, like, they can't cast anything. So, yeah. Pretty good. Lightning helix that. Lovely. Three steps ahead. See, this is where high noon comes in and is incredibly strong. Yeah. Okay, gonna rumble in. Gonna double block one of them. Oh, one on each. Gonna go one on each. Alright, they're gonna let it take the damage. Okay. Alright, over to you. You can cast one spell a turn, and I'm gonna counter it. <laughs> Wherever it is. I'm gonna let a sun fall. Do I really care if I have a sun fall? Yeah, I guess I do. Uh, yeah, I just kind of do the whole lot here. Yeah, get to loot as well. God, it's just it's just amazing. Get rid of a sunfall. Get rid of a land. No. Get rid of the. No, I got to discard one, don't I? Yeah. No, I don't know why I thought I discard two. Yeah. It, it, it's better than that. <laughs> sure. Okay, but they are got bigger. Oh, that's a good draw. Get old deluge. Uh. So, probably just wing in here. I do have. Interesting. I might just. I don't want to get lost. I've just got a memory deluge. Okay. Grab a land. We'll grab two lands. I've already played one this turn, haven't I? Yeah, the Restless Anchorage. That was a bit silly. Uh, let's go for that one. Good double block. Oh, cool. like I say, I don't really care that much, just because I got uh two more Wandering Emperors in my hand, but. Um, it's gonna be a close, I would say a close game. It's definitely an interesting game. Definitely an interesting one. We both have Wandering Emperors that just won't die. But, you know, we can. Ah, uh, they do have a in there. That's kind of nice. Uh, we do have. You can only cast one spell per turn, though. Yeah. Good chump trade. I think that's probably wise. They're a paragon. Okay. They can't really do anything with that. So we'll play this. Uh, probably just get lost the Sarah Paragon. Just be now I wish I had the Sunfall. We'll get rid of lost that. And I'm going to make a 2 2. And I'll pass 10. Cool. And then I can flash in Wandering Emperor in their turn. Finding's keeping stuff in check, which is fine. The opponent's running out of resources. I do have a memory to lose as well. It's all good. I mean, basically, it's like a black, white, mid range slash control deck. Kind of mid rangey. Yep. Uh, we're going to tap it for mana. No real point. No real point. 
planes. Yep. Cool. Well, that was obvious that was going to happen anyway. Yep. Another Wandering Emperor. Well, that's kind of annoying. Yep. Now I wish I had the sun full. Okay. Lay down arms. Sure. Sure. I'll take six. I mean, he just gave me some life. The Wandering Emperor down. Make a guy. No more lies. Oh, uh, yeah, that's kind of a dead draw. Okay, land. Okay, we'll just make another guy. And. Yeah, pass. Oh, yeah, no more lies in this at this point. I mean, one more post got like five, six, and eight mana. Pretty expensive. Okay. Interesting. Another lay down arms. Okay, they can only cast one thing per turn, don't forget. They're going for me. Do you really want to do that? Um. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Um, master blockers. Hmm. 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 Yeah, I'm sure chump. I'm gonna chump. Oh, they can't actually play Wandering Emperor, I just realised. Oh well, let's do this memory delusion anyway. Okay, so, uh, final showdown's really good. Yeah, that's gonna be good. And I think deduce, deduce is gonna be pretty good as well. Because that allows me to uh, do some goodies. All these no more lies, at this point, they are gonna be worth it when I double them up. I can't really double them up with high name, but you know what I mean. Uh, right, so we could do final showdown here. Kill everything. Okay, it's not not the best. But, uh, I won't. I'm just going to tick it up. Because I'm going to wipe the board anyway. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, pass turn. Alright. Or we could have played deduce. What the deduce? Okay, we'll just wipe the boards. Sure. Okay. I mean, they're going to refill anyway, but that's fine. No problem. Okay, well, I did get the sun full. Um, I will draw. Quite a grindy game. It's a uh, well, first, first game, yeah. Okay, might as well just churn out a guy. Last turn. I tell you what, this high noon, I bet, is really getting on my opponent's nerves. I bet. Yep. 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 Throw attack. And a block. Um, draw a card. Come on. Let's actually get something so I can actually close out this game. Okay. Um, if I do this, they'll just pump it. Kind of feels bad. Let it die. Let it die. Good draw. That's actually a really good draw. You know why it's a good draw? Because I can kill the Wandering Emperor. I mean, yes, they can play another one. That's absolutely fine. Uh, but I'm just gonna. Do I tick up? Yeah, I think I just tick up here. Nah, we'll just make a go. Make the sun fall bigger. Make the sun fall bigger. Sure. 
not a problem. Okay. Looking good here. I do have a land. I do have the uh, creature land. Which can give me some good card advantage. Opponents just churning out dudes. Which is fine. Uh, attack for seven. I mean. Yeah, sure. Yeah, just take it. Um, play the Warning Emperor. Not gonna do anything. Come full. Make a guy. Boss. Right. Over to your opponent. I've got triple no more lies. Well, that's gonna be any good. <laughs> oh my days. Suffocation, sure. So yeah, they're definitely a uh get rid of my wandering emperor. That's fine. We could do make a guy. Cool. Looking pretty good for me here. Yeah. Looking real good. Uh, not this one. Going in. Uh, six. And then we'll do that on this. Uh, temporary lockdown. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Pretty bad right now. Okay. Move to you. How much mana does this cost? Wait, what? How much mana does this cost? Five. One, two, three, four. Reach. Oh, really? And I can't double no more lies because my own high noon. That's actually funny. I'm going to use one of it anyway. Just to force them to spend their mana. Not that they can do anything anyway, but... Breach. Go for it, yeah. Alright. Go on then. <laughs> okay. I mean, what, what can they bring back? Air Paragon? Can't cast anything. Morning Emperor? Like, I've got... They did mill my guy. Oh, that's kind of annoying. That's going to be good for them. Yeah, that's actually really good for them. Uh, one, two, three, four. Three. This game's not over. Holy smokes. Of course, I get one from each of us. Yeah, I think I'm dead. I, I've, I, I think I just got wrecked by my own high noon. Because I could have doubled, obviously I could have doubled the, uh, Ufa. I think I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to high noon. Here. I'm going to kill this. I can get out of it. Get lost. Pretty good. Doesn't he have to pay mana for this? Oh, kill, kill that. Get my guy in back in the graveyard. Uh, and I'm going to high noon this. Yep. And then I'm going to attack you and attack the Wandering Emperor. Okay. All right. Over to your opponent. I've got double no more lies up just in case they do something big like that. Breach the multiverse again. Wow, that's a pretty big card. Some fall. Um, kind of want to say no. But uh, one, two, three. Three. Yeah, I kind of want to say no, but if they play another breach, that's pretty much game over for me. So I'm going to say sure. Why not? Okay, you're not having that as well. You can't have, you can't have both. You can't have both. There's, okay, that's, that's fine. Yeah, you can't, you can't have both. That's just greedy. That's just greedy. Okay, right, we'll just click, bring it in. Uh, yeah. And this. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Over to you. One, two, three, four, five, six mana untapped. Go. That's good. Okay, not a field we're in. That's lucky. 
If it was a field of ruin, it would have been brutal. I mean, to be fair, I'm going to be attacking them with a four, four power flyer. Uh, which is pretty nice. To say the least. Yep. I'm going to have one more mana. Uh, how much mana have they got? Okay, we're going to no more lies that. Cool, cool, cool. Looking good. Looking real good. Go. Cool. Attack me for three. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, well, let's swing in for some more. I'm attacking for four. I mean, they are ahead of me on the race here. But I've got to be careful. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's do this. Do we find? Yep, we'll keep that on top. Perfect. Perfect draw. Especially with the three steps ahead. Yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Okay, they found a land. Don't care about that so much. Cool. Wow, that's a big card. That is a big one. Um, I'm gonna, gonna loot. How much land have I got untapped? One, two, three. Okay. Uh, go. Go to one. Lauren of the Third Path. Hmm. Uh. Okay, I'm just gonna. Um. Hang on a second. Hang on. One, two. Yeah. Do it for zero. Fix all this. Yeah. I think I was afraid of my what my opponent might play, but. Oh. No more. One, two, three, four, five. Pass. Just gonna pass. Got three steps ahead. And then I can counter it. Uh, yep. Yeah. There we go. GG. No secure of the land. Does really make a difference. Play the land, animate, animate, swing for lethal, oh, managed to win game one, that was a long game, that was a long game one, but managed to get there though, okay, so basically it's like, a, it's basically a control deck, right, so negate's gonna be pretty good in this matchup, uh, rest in peace, probably not, high noon was pretty good, um, it did actually kind of screw me a bit, um, Seed Shark. I kind of feel like Seed Shark's going to be pretty good in this matchup as well. All right, I'm going to get rid of Temporary Lockdown. Uh, no, we'll keep we'll keep the Temporary Lockdown because they do have a lot, a lot of tokens for the Wandering Emperor and the Wedding Announcement and stuff. Uh, Final Showdown was really good. Lightning Helix is fine to deal with the Planeswalkers. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the High Noon. It was okay, but it wasn't great. kind of wrecked me a little bit. Um, Tahash's Tie Binder. Again, could be pretty good. Um, I think, I think I'm going to cut two Lightning Helix. And I'm also going to cut one final showdown. Because um, we're going for more of like a creature-based strategy here. Uh, and then maybe... Maybe we'll just cut all Lightning Helix. Did we cut all Lightning Helix? Lightning Helix was good at keeping the Wandering Emperors in check. It was pretty good. Uh, I think we'll just cut the tie binders and we'll see. Uh, open hand, yeah, keep. It was a pretty busy game one. That's for sure. Definitely a pretty busy game one. Okay. Oh, brilliant. That's a beautiful draw. Always love to see a memory deluge in my hand. One of my favourites. 
Go to room of land. Fair. Not very nice, but fair. Yep. Uh, probably grab a planes. Yes, sir. That's a good one. Lango. On the negate. Have they got another? Have they got another filter in? Are they actually going to try and take out the other one? Because that would be hilarious. Uh, Jurass? Uh, no. My hand's too good for that. My hand's too good. Wait, they're, 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 they're thinking about it. They're thinking about it. I do have an island. I do run more basics. Off like though, I am out, but... I do run more basics, there we go. Perfect. I've been thinking, what? what? Why's my opponent playing? How they got basics in their deck? Always run basics. Always. Yep. 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 Okay, good deluge. Cool. That's absolutely fine. Wow. Uh, I think I might just grab. We'll grab these. These are really good. Another Wandering Emperor. Okay, well, I don't need another Wandering Emperor. Okay, over to you, Pen. Over to you. Yep. You can attack me. Look, I won last game on one life. I'm willing to go to one life. It doesn't bother me. I'm just using all these turns to set up what I want to set up. That's fine. Remember your training. Uh, yeah, we'll do the whole shebang. Counter and good cards going. Get rid of my get lost. So I got three of them. That's what I want. Is a nice land. Um, I think here I will go with Get Lost, just to clear up the mess that my opponent's made, and pass. And I can counter whatever they play next, if they play anything super spicy. Uh, yeah, they can have that. I've got a sum for, I think. Alright, no, they just want to go and deal some damage. Okay. Uh, yeah. Draw. There. One land. Sunfall. Okay. Uh, so I could sunfall here. Uh, I'm really tempted not to. So I'm gonna I'm gonna dig for a land. Like my opponent's deck's not really gonna be super crazy. They're still quite far away. They're still like a turn or two away. Okay, we did get land. We go this. Probably. It is, it's not, it is a tapped land. I don't need another memory deluge. Um, three steps ahead is really good. So, okay, over to your opponent. Three steps ahead is super good. Yep, yep, yep. I'm just going to keep taking the damage. My opponent's going to refill with the wedding announcement, which is going to be pretty good. Um, but like I say, I'm, I'm building up. Building up. Yep. Restoration. Good one. That well would be pretty sweet in this deck to be fair. Yep. Take five. Probably just done four, I think. Uh yeah, maybe. But no, that's an okay draw, it's not great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh I'd have to discard, and that is not what I want. Um, hmm. I think here, if I'm being honest, I think here I'm probably just gonna could play Wandering Emperor here, exile the guy, then Wandering Emperor gets wrecked. Yeah, I think that's fine. I'm happy to do that. I'm happy to do that. I'll play that own Wandering Emperor. Um... Play a breach. Does a breach really matter? No, breach doesn't matter at this point. 
restoration is going to be a bit of a pain. Yeah, I can't. Uh, yeah, I can't. I can't have to counter this. I think. Hang on a second. Is that mine or my opponent's? Okay. That was really confusing. Okay. I was like, am I countering mine or my opponent's? It wasn't really clear. The only way I knew that I was... Uh, the only way I knew I was targeting my opponent was because mine was the full up. <laughs> that was that was a bit like, hey, wait a minute. Yeah. Countering Tree Warden. That's fine. I got some full. That's not a problem. They do have a lot of cards, but that's not a problem. Uh, one, two, two. Not a problem. And I do have that. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. And pass. Very nice. They can do it again if they want. Mirror Paragon? Yeah, you know. Nope, that can get exiled. Ah, oh, that was it. Pretty brutal. I'm not going to activate that. There's no point. Uh, no. Good pass. Over to your opponent. Getting for four right now is not... I'm going the long game. This is... We're, we're wrapping, guys. We're going for the long one. Uh, yeah, you can have that. That's fine. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Lauren of the third path will destroy my little token. Sure. Yeah, I don't really care about that. I flash back one of these memory deluges. Mhm. Mm I'm just just gonna out drain my opponent of value. To be fair, just beat them in the long game. That's pretty much where this deck excels at. You know. Pretty much. Light and Helix, cool. What well, that can do with that. Nice. And pass. Cool. Like, we got a lot of counter spells. See, the Light and Helixes are really good. They are really good. They are very, very good. I think here. Do I care about the wedding announcement? Probably not. I can bring back a land. Yay! They can deal with one of my th many, 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 many. Uh, yeah. I mean, this fuels my uh, amazing. This fuels my uh, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. This fuels my uh, some fools. I'm pretty happy. Go we'll draw a card, investigate, and then I'm gonna do some investigating. I'm gonna draw another card. Beautiful. Yep. Yo, my sun falls, please. Yeah, another land, brilliant. Um, yeah, I think I'm probably just gonna pass. Maybe I could just get lost to this. Yeah, I think. I think I'm just gonna because I got negate. I think I might just get lost to that. That's just a pain. If they attack though, they are gonna draw two cards. So I might just, if I'm being honest, it sounds really weird, but I might just get lost this. And then pass turn. It sounds it sounds bizarre, but it means they don't get to attack with two creatures. They won't get to draw cards. They're going to splat a load of tokens, and then I'm going to grab them all with the Sunfall. Yeah, you're not having that. That is a definite no-go. One, two, three, four, five mana. A flashy and wandering emperor and do absolutely nothing. That's what I mean. Just play the long game. Ends a deck like this. They kept some for win. Probably gonna bend that, right? Yeah, I would. Sure, take three. That's what I mean. My uh, life is a resource. They're gonna split out some tokens. I'm gonna slam a wandering emperor. I'm gonna do absolutely. Absolutely nothing, so they probably can expect me to slam one of these bad boys. And then I'm gonna make a guy and I'm gonna 
pass the turn. All right. We will count spell. Breach. Yeah, that's not happening. Uh, we will count that. We'll do all of them. Yep. Three steps ahead is just so brutal. Honestly, I'm going to draw another one. It's just so good. It's just so good. Uh, a part of me is like, I kind of feel bad for my opponent, but I kind of, I kind of don't at the same time. Uh, they do have two four fours though. They do have two four fours. Um, yeah, I, I, I do feel kind of bad for him. I do. Okay. Uh, nope. Over to you. Could you imagine that if they still had a sun four in their hand? I mean, I can counter it, but yeah. Notification. Go. Yeah. yeah. Sacrifice not much. Sacrifice the man. I'll give him hexproof. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. That one's not happening. Uh, we'll do this. We'll do this. Yep. Oh, it's, it's just so brutal. We get rid of the land. No one cares about that. And we've got a light and helix to boot as well. Jeez. Oh, yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. Um, probably not that guy. All right, rumbling in. Uh, we'll go with light and helix on this guy. Yep. Yep. All right, over to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Land on tap. Nice. Some fall. Uh, do I care? If I'm being honest. Probably. Let's make him pay. Make him pay again. Yep. Draw. And draw. Huh. Um. Wow, here's a four five. That's a bit crazy. Maybe we should have just attacked him with the uh, with the land, but I'll pass. Two cards in hand for my opponent. I'm gonna play some fall now. That's fine. I mean, I could just eventually get them with the wandering emperors. I yeah, pretty brutal for my opponent. I'm not gonna lie. Go oh. <laughs> take one of my other two wandering emperors. Yeah, the longer this game drags, uh, especially with the, it's the delusions, it's just it's just drowning my opponent. Honestly, with all of the card advantage, um, like shenanigans, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. Land guy, uh, not gonna animate my land. Find a pointless. Okay, let's just pump this guy. Swing in. I mean, to be fair, if they got Wandering Emperor, I'm pretty dead. Well, not pretty dead, but creatures are pretty dead. I can't do anything about it. Cool. Oh, they do. Hey, I rate it. I do. I highly rate it. Mirix. I mean, that's a way of winning the game. Okay. And you're going to pump your guy? Yeah, you killed my guy. I know. Well done. <laughs> well done. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna wait for my opponent. To, um, use the field of rune. Perfect. All right. Yeah, it's just it's just an uphill battle from there. Wow, that was a grindy one. Uh, um, managed to win game one and one life, and then game two, I just drowned my opponent in card advantage. I mean, they were playing a black-white control list. Pretty good, like if he was playing against like creature decks, 
That is a very, very strong list. But against other control decks, especially a, a blue control deck, you get a ton of card advantage from Deluge and you have counter magic. It's just super tough. It really is tough. Those decks used to be very good against control when they used to have like Reckon and Bank Buster and stuff because they can just keep drawing cards and also have this threat, which is kind of a bit of tricky to deal with. But now, it you know, control decks can just run away in those type of matchups. I mean, game one was super close. Uh, managed to get there and like game two i'm just, just kind of like look the longer this game goes the better it is for me i don't care about my life toll you're not going to come out of the gate and kill me insanely fast i'm just going to keep going and build up my advantage and then i'll eventually take over the game and that's basically what happened and my opponent ran out of resources in the second game so if you do want to give this deck a try guys the deck list will be in the description below if you made this fun of the video and you've enjoyed it make sure to smash the like button and make sure you subscribe for more magic content that's it from me in today's video thank you so much for watching see you in the next one